Hey everybody out there, this is uh, T Big Man over here at TechAndAllThings.com. Uh, currently I'm streaming on Ustream.tv. Uh, my channel name is The Tech In All Things. And uh, you know, I get asked all the time, uh, hey, how do you do that? How do you do this? And uh, one of the things that I've been having uh, the most trouble with is trying to show people what I'm doing on my desktop uh, in different operating systems. You know, I'm running Windows XP, I'm running Vista. Uh, I've got my Mac and I've got several Linux distributions and trying to find one uh, common way to stream all those different desktops ha has been kind of a nightmare and I, I tried uh, you know all the software that I could find on the internet I tried you know Manicam and Webcam Max and uh, what is it Cam Twist and Webcam Studio and all these different applications and although they work um, you know, some of them cost money, some of them are free. Uh, but I did run into like, you know, compatibility issues from one system to the next. So then it just kind of dawned on me one day. Um, all all the devices that I'm trying to link together have one common factor, and that's an S video port. Uh, all my desktops, all my video cards have an S video out port, and uh, in one of my boxes of uh, uh, junk, as I like to call them, the box of junk. Uh, I had an old ATI TV Wonder capture card with an S video in, um, and then this box that you can see right here on my desk, um, I bought that at GameStop. It's a local uh, electronics store for video gaming enthusiasts. Um, it's uh, quite simply just a dumb um, uh, game selector. If you have multiple games hooked up. Um, there's S video or there's the composite video. It, it just depends on wh what you use. Um, it's called a universal system selector, and there's four buttons on the front, so you can hook up four different devices and just press a button and switch to that device. Well, it turns out it works just fine for my S video switching between my my camcorder, which you're on now, and my different desktops that I have set up. So if I want to like right now, I mean, of course, the camera's on and I'm talking to you. This is great. I want to start showing you something on my desktop. I My choice before was either, you know, shut down the stream, switch over to some kind of a software application to share my desktop. Now, all I have to do is press the button, thusly, and you're looking at my desktop. You know, there's my mouse moving around. I can, you know, you can see all my applications if I wanted to browse the web show you my chat I mean um, currently right now I mean here's my photo application if I wanted to show you some of my photos you know uh, this is this is Picasa 3 by the way it's a very awesome uh, application for managing your photos um, so you've got that and then uh, say I wanted to show you another operating system like in VirtualBox I've got VirtualBox running this here is Linux uh, Mint inside of VirtualBox, and if I went to you know full screen on you, give it a second. It'll 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 catch up with me. Um, there you go. So now you're looking at my Linux desktop, you know, on on my stream, you know, and I didn't have to shut the stream down to get there. Um, you can do whatever it is you'd normally do. Uh, I could show you this. Sh that the other thing, whatever it is we happen to be talking about at the time, you know. And as you can see, I've got the um, full effects going on uh, in my virtual environment, which is awesome. Um, so the the possibilities are pretty much endless. Um, I, I really like the fact that I kind of just accidentally stumbled upon this um, S video. I mean, that's the answer. S video. Uh, if I wanted to show you something on my streaming box, it's the same thing. I got another button I pressed. Now we're looking at this is my stream box running Windows XP. Um, there you can see a little infinity. This is my broadcast console. I mean, it's not not too too exciting, you know. And then uh, of course I can go back to my camera, and now uh, it's me again. And here we, you know, now we're talking about something else. Doesn't really matter. But the point is, um, for for almost no money, uh, you can stream your desktop. Um, in uh, I would consider it to be very good quality um, just by setting up the external S video port 
on your video cards and you know investing in a some type of a switching device and a capture card that's capable of you know in, you know getting that signal from your different devices uh, in this case it's the ATI TV Wonder card and the last time I checked pricing on that I mean uh, we're, we're talking like sixty dollars for for a pretty nice capture card um, so you should be able to get something going pretty good um, uh, just uh, so there you go there you have it you know S video uh, desktop streaming solution uh, compatible with ustream.tv um, well, you know, try it out, man. Let me know what you think. Of course, check out my website, techandallthings.com. Um, you know, follow my show, comment, whatever you're gonna do. Send me some email, tbigman at techandallthings.com. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Um, of course, show ideas, topic ideas are great. This this idea came from one of my viewers. Um, so, and it was he's in there now. I hope watching, David. Mallette, I hope I said his name correctly. Uh, thanks, David, for the idea. Uh, keep them coming. This one was awesome. And uh, we'll talk to all you guys later. Have a good one. Bye. Oh, wait, wait. That was easy. <laughs> cool.